Summer break is in the books, and students are back in class at Darien High School. Hi everybody, I'm Liam Tomaszewski, and we welcome you to this DAF Media Special as we preview the 2023 high school fall sports season. It's the beginning of a new era for the Darien football team, and here's Owen Heffron with that story. Thanks, Liam. The Blue Wave failed to make the playoffs last season for the first time in more than a decade, but a familiar face steps in to lead the program. Longtime assistant Andy Grant is in his first year as head coach. There's some youth and inexperience on both sides of the ball, but there are key returning players as well and plenty of optimism in camp. With the coaches that we have, they're doing a great job of supporting us, you know, on the field and off. and. You know, that's kind of translating to how the players treat each other. We've been doing a lot of work over the summer with our underclassmen. They truly, uh, they've shown that they can play on this football field <clears throat> at a varsity level. Uh, I would say communication is one of the most important aspects of the game for us. Um, we got to communicate all the plays and, and signals to get lined up right, which is really key for our defense and offense. Uh, we're feeling really confident going into week one against North Haven. Uh, it's going to be a big game, but uh, we're feeling pretty ready and prepared. Our expectations have a really good season, win a lot of games, and win the Turkey Bowl. Our goals are to go undefeated and win a state championship. Darien's schedule is loaded. The Blue Wave faced three defending state champions this season. Liam, back to you. Thanks, Owen. Won't be easy for the Darien field hockey team to replicate last year's storybook season that include a conference and state championship. The expectations are once again high. Veteran head coach Mo Minikis lost a number of talented players to graduation, but this Darien team has a tight group of seniors who know all about the program's history of success. This season, we're going to try to take it one game at a time, but ultimately we're going to try to replicate what we did last year. For us, communication is important like on the field and off the field so that we can work well together, especially because we're like a younger team and we haven't really all played together for that much yet. We just think it's really important to maintain like a really good chemistry. Um, I think that helps us throughout the season and on the field as well. I think also taking our practices very seriously and hard like our preseason um, is crucial for our success. Over on the center oval field, the Darien boys soccer team is hard at work. The boys had a season to remember in 2022, but have some unfinished business after losing to Trumbull in the FCAC championship. Boys soccer coach John Bradley looks to build on the momentum from last season after losing the majority of its starting lineup to graduation. We're working towards just rebuilding our team. We have a bunch of freshmen and sophomore, which is basically the core of our team. We lost a lot of our seniors last year. Um, so I think just um, playing together, you know, seeing how we play as a team, uh, especially with the new people that we got. And we're just kind of trying to get more comfortable knowing each other's play styles and trying to work hard to make everyone better out in the field. Our communication on the field was lacking a little bit last season. I'm hoping with the upcoming kids, lots of sophomores, freshmen, coming juniors, we can get some more kids, better communication on the field. I think that will definitely help us have a more successful season. On the girls' side of the ball, Darian completed an 8-6-3 and three season a year ago, and they're ready to make a statement in the FCAC. Darien head coach Lee Parsons is back on the sidelines, and with plenty of depth in their lineup, the girls are ready to continue with what they started last year with a mix of veteran and younger players. In this season, we need to take each game one step at a time and um, just focus on working with, with each other um, and making the little plays and doing the little things for each of our teammates. We practice a lot together in a positive way, I would say. I think altogether we just um, embrace more of a friendship role than a teammate. I think just getting everyone on the same page is our main goal and what's gonna help us to like succeed this year. We're all super competitive and definitely want to win. I think our expectations to get as many wins as we can go as far as we can but we're definitely gonna take each game at a time and just focus on the team and our team itself. Inside the main gym, the Darien girls volleyball team is back at it after a stellar 2022. Darien took both the FCAC and state crowns in a year to remember. After not losing a match and only dropping three sets last season, the Wave is ready for what they hope will be another historic season. This year we have a good team chemistry and we all trust each other a lot and we're good at building like camaraderie. And we had some underclassmen last year that now have a lot more experience this year. We're just taking it day by day, getting better every day in the gym. With our season last year, we've been constantly reminded of our success last season. So I think right now we're just focusing on this year, this team, and what we can do this year. The Blue Wave Cross Country Program will sprint their way into a new season this fall. With lots of young faces stepping up into varsity roles, the team will have lots of depth throughout their lineup. The boys finished 11th in the Class L last year, 
while the girls finish 11th in the Class Double L. Along with a new track facility this year, Darian will have one home meet on the DHS running trail. We have pretty high expectations going into the season. I'm pretty confident that we can make it back to the state open as a team, which would be amazing. I think it's important to just like put your all into every workout and every practice and just be there for the team. We start every practice off um, stretching together. It's important to foster a community. We have a lot of high expectations for the season, definitely getting that FCX championship and doing really well in the states. We have a strong group of seniors and we have some really talented underclassmen. Do the warm-ups together, get the core in together, get stretching in together and just trying to push each other every day to be the best team we can this year. Girls swimming and diving will get ready to jump in the pool again this year after winning the Class L state title last year. Under head coach Marge Trafone, Darian will again have big goals for the season, having a string of underclassmen and veteran talent. I'm expecting that we're going to have a really competitive season. We graduated a really talented class last year, but we also have a really talented freshman class. We've been training really hard in and out of the pool, so come championship season, we should be really strong and people should be dropping a lot of time. To be successful this season, um, we definitely need to make sure to keep our head down, keep working hard, um, just not give up? Um, we maintain team morale throughout the season by staying super positive during practice uh, at the meets on deck every day and making sure that we're all there for each other and cheering each other on throughout the season. The Darien boys golf team returned six varsity players from last season, a season where they finished ninth at the Class L state tournament. The Darien boys team will play all their home matches at three of the Darien country clubs. That'll do it for this DAF media special. I'm Liam Tomaszewski and we thank you for watching.